Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode. We are going to confirm her pregnancy, which I'm a thousand percent sure she is pregnant again because look at this. She wants to puke. I went into cast and gave our girl some color to her face. She's so cute though, look at that face. She is daddy's little girl. I love them, picture time. So we're gonna do very minimal goals <laughs> this round because we're gonna be working on aging her up and confirming the pregnancy. Also, we want to continue to build up their home and work on their soulmate aspiration is what I really wanna do. And also some skill sets for Arabelle. With that said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the highlight reel for this episode. just queued up the kitty pool because I really want her to have fun. Her fun is pretty low. I do have a toy for her, but we don't have much for her. Oh, where are you taking her? Why did you, oh, you're replacing my, Patch, you're so handy. You're like the best, just best, best. I like the french fries in your pocket. <laughs> that looks like french fries. <laughs> Uh, why can't you not go in the kiddie pool? Joe, just make her feel better. Brighten her day. Maybe just play with her. Maybe that'll get her fun up. I guess puking in the bush does not leave any hygiene for anyone. I feel like Joe cannot even play with his daughter. <laughs> yes! You're an airplane! You're a helicopter! <laughs> The absolute best. I think he's fascinated by their lifestyle. You mean you guys have no doors? No, buddy, we don't. We live al fresco. Oh, she hasn't spent any time with Adabelle at all. She's probably like, I'm the worst mother, but I feel so sick. Is she gonna puke again? <gasps> she is not having a good time. I didn't know you could puke in a bush. Preferably, you wouldn't. Oh, sorry, you guys said that. That was that was really uncalled for. She had another accident. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Oh, you dirty, rotten bastard! Your parents obviously haven't taught you anything at all. Can you do some parental things here? Can you discipline recent behavior and do it calmly? Cause you're like a calm dude. Dirty, rotten bastard. First you pee all over the place and then you do this. Yep, you tell her. You give her what's what. She'll never learn to be responsible if you don't tell her. It's okay, honey, we still love you. Even though your room smells like shit on a stick. I killed the roses. I did. Any winter babies here? Summer, spring, summer, spring. Summer, 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 summer. There is no winter anythings. What are you? Ugh, this is terrible. <gasps> Look, guys, she's eating for two. We've got a lot of air. So this baby will stay behind and take care of everything that the Kados have built while we move on with our other heirs. And our garden is despicable. I gotta get them to work. <laughs> oh, she's telling him. Look at it. The other one's pooping. <laughs> I love it. <gasps> Prank day. That scared the bejesus out of me. Oh my gosh. Stop being a brat. Come over here, fertilize, and take a shower. She is having the worst trimester. Like, it's so gross. <laughs> and also, I've learned that the Kados don't like to clean up after themselves. Look at how many plates of food they have half eaten all over the place. You'd think they never starved before. Oh, look at this princessa. Look at her. Oh, hugging her robot that her mom fished up from the river. Okay, so living room update looks pretty spiffy. And then we have a book shelf for our little princessa to be able to read her books. You dirty, rotten bastard. You know what? I can't blame her. Her parents are just not spending that much time with her. Would you? Oh. Joe's gonna get you. Give a talking to. Joe, this is more important. Your daughter needs to support. <laughs> oh my god, she keeps doing it. He's so calm though. He's gonna be like, Arabella, Mija, 
Your responsibility is going into the basement. Will you please just chill? <laughs> Teach her something. Talk to her about her day. Um, hug lovingly because she's so cute and teach her the basic needs because I feel like that's why she does this crap. <laughs> Anywho, I hope the house doesn't burn down, but I put this inside the house and I changed the wallpaper. Um, <gasps> Patchy, you're up! I don't know how she's doing. She's had the most miserable trimester, like the worst trimester. I'm gonna send her to take a shower. <laughs> okay, so I think we did a thing. It's sort of a family bathroom in the back. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It it works. It works. Look, I'll show you. It works out. So they have a homemade bathtub. Everything's off the gritty. I've got my CC toilet in there. It looks off the gritty and it works off the grid. And then they have this fancy sink, which we can pretend they found on the side of the road or something. <laughs> they made it work. So, yeah. I'm not angry at this at all. I mean, we need to clutter it up, but other than that, I think we're well on our way to finishing their house. It's very exciting. It's violently ill, as if something was pushing her insides all around, but I don't see a belly on her at all. This is like, her baby is inside her ribs or something. Very bizarre. Look at Joe doing laundry. He's such a helpful husband and father. So our little princess is gonna age tomorrow, but this has been more of a building episode, I feel like. I mean, we got a lot of stuff done. It's just, she's miserable. I don't see a belly. This might be a glitch, but um, you know, some women just don't show. We'll leave it at that. We got a bathroom built in the back. We've got a little table and a candle, or I don't know what this is called, a lantern, sitting in their bedroom. We got them a little rug. We got the living room sort of kind of set up. We got her a little bookshelf. Our baby, our second baby is going to be in the same sort of section of the house. So, you know, they'll have a place to be. We did get a couple of entertainment pieces. We got this. Um, we, oh, we got the swing sets last time. So more the horseshoe set up than anything. So now they have two places to wash up, two facilities. One is their personal um, one, and this will be for the kids and guests. And yeah, I think we did pretty good. Oh yeah, we did the gazebo. We did a lot of building this episode. I think they're moving on up. Um, obviously they're still off the grid and they're gonna be off the grid until gen two, but I love it. I love their pseudo setup and it really suits them. I really feel like it suits them. Oh, look at her. There's that baby glitch, toddler glitch, where they hold on to their food and their toys. Um, just resetting them takes care of it until they fix it in an upcoming patch or whatever. But just know that that's, that's a thing. Everyone's experiencing it. I've been reading a lot about it in the forums or whatnot. But, uh, oh, look how tender they are. I love it. Okay, my friends. Yeah, goals confirmed. Pregnant, Arabella's gonna age up in the next episode. We've been building like crazy and they're good to go. We just need to work on landscape and some more decorations in the next round. Fair? I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.